Good morning, I'm Tyler Langford. And I'm Kenny Klein, and this is 360 Sports. On September 20th, Illinois Athletics will induct 16 former players and coaches into the Illinois Hall of Fame. State Farm Center will host the event. The free event is open to the public and will be prior to their Big Ten opener against Nebraska. Fans will have a chance to get autographs with the inductees in Grange Grove prior to the game. All 13 living members are expected to be in attendance. Henry Dale and Betty Smith Football Performance Center isn't quite done yet, but it's close. Opening later this month, the $80 million building will be home to the Fighting Illini football. This year's team roster will be, will be able to get a first look at the new facility. Some of the amenities offer a state-of-the-art weight room, an expansive sports media area, and what has been described as a beautiful auditorium. And they did not look past some of the more unique offerings, like a bowling alley, alley and a barbershop. The new performance center is set to open within the month. Joining us in studio to talk about the Bears' reaction to the upcoming Madden game is John Murray. Thank you, Kenny. Since we're talking about football, and because it's nearly August, before you make out your draft list for the new Madden 20, you may want to think twice about drafting the Bears' third-year starting quarterback, Mitchell Trubisky. He was given a 75 overall rating in the game. That makes him the 27th-ranked player among starting QBs in the new game. Bears fans and sports critics are questioning the score. This controversy isn't new for Madden, however. The game's rankings usually cause a stir. But it isn't all bad news, Bears fans. The defense has the top ranking of all teams, and defensive pass rusher Khalil Mack earned a perfect 99 overall. Backup quarterback Chase Daniels took a moment to share his teammates' rankings. Akeem Hicks clearly was not happy with his ranking. Overall, man, I've been playing this game <laughs> since 2001. I've been playing this damn game. If you disrespect me this year, we're going to have some real issues. Tell me the number, Chase. i got to be a 97. 87. Hey, i got to go cut the tape. <laughs> Madden 20 is scheduled to be released on August 2nd. Back to you guys. Turning to Major League Baseball, the Chicago Cubs are saying goodbye to the pitcher who threw the ball that won the World Series. Kansas City Royals agreed to a trade on Monday night, swapping Cubs left-handed pitcher Mike Montgomery for KC's catcher Martin Maldonado, per the team. In a related move, the Cubs placed starting catcher Wilson Contreras on the injured list because of a strained arch muscle in his right foot. He's not expected to miss longer than 10 days at this point. Montgomery has been an effective pitcher in recent years. He finished his Cubs career with a 115 ERA plus in more than 300 innings, and this deal could come to represent a win for the Royals if they can help him return to that form. Just when you thought things couldn't get worse for the White Sox coming out of the All-Star break, they took worse to a new 2019 low Tuesday night when almost everything went sideways in an 11 to nothing loss to the Royals. Prized rookie left fielder Eloy Jimenez badly injured his right elbow colliding with center fielder Charlie Tilson on the warning track. Jimenez is headed to the injured list for the second time this season. The Sox sent him to Chicago for an MRI and to have the elbow examined by doctors, an ominous sign pointing to an extended absence for the Sox rookie. That's your sports wrap. I'm Kenny Clinton. And I'm Tyler Lankford. Thanks for watching.